Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, I'm bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today I'm going to be doing the Shroud of Emotion quest with Above the Waves, my vassal. Um, you're going to want to come to the uh, Rinthid encampment uh, next to the Rinthid infested plains. Uh, there's a recall for this, but uh, that's going to be a whole other video if I ever do get to it. Um, you can take the dangerous portal device from your mansion. I should probably buff. Um, and then it's a short run if you get the obsidian planes. You kind of have to do some roulette on that one. Uh, when you get here, you're going to want to talk to... There's a whole bunch of NPCs. As you can see on my mini-map, there's like, I don't know, 10 to 15 NPCs. A lot of them are for other specific quests, but also a lot of them are for kill tasks. So I do recommend when you are starting this quest to flag with all of the NPCs just, uh, you know, as a, you know, might as well get credit for that while you're doing this too. So uh, for this specific quest, you're going to want to talk to Re Ryan Gorber. I don't know who came up with names for this stuff sometimes, um, who will flag you to do the Shroud of Emotion quest. Um, the first part of this quest is we're going to be running into the Rinthid Infested Plains and climbing a series of platforms. It's actually a really cool uh, area, but it does get very laggy. So hopefully uh, this part of the video comes out okay, but if it doesn't, I might uh, just cut it out. But uh, yeah, that's all you need to do at the camp. Like I said, there's a bunch of different NPCs to flag for kill tasks with. And there's actually a bunch of other quests, so hopefully I'm going to get around to showing you a lot of those as well. It's a pretty cool area. And we are off to the Rinted Infested Plains, so we always just like to jump off the cliff to the southwest here. And then going to... Actually, let me make a fellowship real quick. If I can click on them. There we go. Um... You're gonna wanna run up to one of these little V gaps in the mountain. This is the only way to uh, actually climb up here. Pretty cool landscape. And then you can see the platforms in the distance. That's where we're going. So this area is filled with very high level Verindi who debuff you with like a level eight uh, lightning volm and then will cast uh, very, very powerful lightning rings that can one-shot you. Even me with 481 health, uh, very easy to get one shot. So uh, I definitely recommend having a lot of society dispel gems or black market dispel gems. And, uh, you know, just being aware of your debuffs and your surroundings at all times. So we're going to run up the platforms to the first three and then we're going to go to the south and we're going to jump full power onto this next platform and then we're going to continue up the ramp across and then down and then another left to the west and we're going into this path of torment dungeon we're actually going to do this twice so we're going to follow this path of torment dungeon to back out to the platforms and then in again. So this is actually, I think, the hardest part of this quest because you could very easily, uh, you could very easily die in here running through all this stuff. Now you could fight your way through; it's just going to take you a lot longer to complete this quest. I ran Shroud of Emotion yesterday. I was able to solo it, so you know it, it is soloable. I think it would be a lot easier with a small group, which, you know, we're kind of testing that theory out right now. Um, the bosses for this quest, there are four of them. They each drop nine shrouds, which is why it's called Shroud of Emotion. And, you know, so you could have a full fellowship if you wanted to. The level restriction on this quest is 180. Even at 180, you're going to struggle to survive a lot of these for Indy. Um, but yeah, okay, so we're back out on the platforms. We're going to run down the ramp, go left, down the ramp. 
up the ramp again. I, I think these platforms look so cool. And then back into the Path of Rage. Okay, so it is a different dungeon. So Path of Torment, back out to the platforms, and then Path of Rage. gonna run through this dungeon again so that was one of the rings that i was telling you about you can see it's kind of like red lightning you can very easily get one shot by those if you're not careful now when you're running through this dungeon i do recommend just kind of looking at a map or um, following the wiki directions because it, it is a little bit complicated there's a lot of kind of twisty turns. And back out to the platforms of rage. And now we're going to run into the spirit halls, which is right in front of you. We're spirited halls. Spirited halls? Yeah, that's kind of a weird name. All right, so now we are actually in the Shroud of Emotion part of the dungeon. This is a series of four dungeons where you're going to get to a portal and then you're going to get to a boss. And at the end of... So this first dungeon is very linear. You're going to run through to the end. There will be a boss and you kill the boss and you loot a shard. The bosses are themed based on the elements. So there's, you know, fire, cold, lightning, acid bosses. If you're using summons, it makes it very easy to pick which summon you use or which element you use. So, you know, if you're fighting fire, you use cold. If you're fighting acid, you use lightning. Um. Oh my God. And then one shot, there you go. All right, after doing that all again, we are back in the dungeon. Hopefully I do not get one shot for a second time. Gonna remove my lightning debuff. And we'll try this for a second time. Thankfully, I don't uh, drop any items when I die or my buffs anymore, so it's uh, really just running back. Not, I don't have to, you know, rebuff and everything, which is kind of a pain. Um, but I am going to have to try to do this with Vite right now, so hopefully, hopefully with two of us, it's not that big of a deal. All right, so we are in the first boss room. This is the fire boss. I also, I cannot use my summons, which is a huge pain. So there's going to be these deadly spirits. You can kill them. The boss, if it, the fight lasts long enough, will re-summon those um, spirits. And these bosses are ghosts, so if you have a soulbound weapon, I do recommend using that. He's already got it out. Already on top of it. It's nice having an archer. Archers do so much damage to these guys. All right, awesome. So that's the first boss. What's going to happen when you kill them is a gateway is going to appear. Once the boss dies, we're going to loot the corpse and take a Shroud of Bloodlust. And then we're going to dip into the portal, which I think it, you have to actually use the portal. You can't just run through it because it's kind of like a summoned, like if you summoned your own portal. All right. Second dungeon is also linear. So you can take either path. It just kind of loops around.
Jeez, I'm just getting tanked. Again, second path, doesn't matter which way you go, it's just a split and it's gonna recombine. And into the second boss room. This time should be cold. This boss, there are pillars of frost. Which you're gonna wanna take down first because they will just constantly spam let me see if I can summon. Nope, my summoning is too low. They will just constantly spam uh, frost bolts at you, which is really frustrating. And again, having an archer, super nice. Just completely destroyed that. Uh, once again, we're going to loot a shroud, this time the Shroud of Apathy, and then we're going to go into the gateway. Alright, so this third one is the only one that's not linear. Um, so, from the drop, we're going to head out and west. South. And then the second turn east. Ugh. The second hallway going west, not east. Excuse me. That was a little bit uh, backwards, sorry about that. But we are back on track. And we are in the acid boss room. So this one has like tentacles around. The only one that I typically kill is the one that's right on top of you when you drop into the room. And then you can go for the boss with uh, lightning if you've got it. This one casts void spells on you. They are dispellable by level eight dispel gems. Let's see if I can summon now. Yes, so we're back on it. My Vitae is almost gone. We are going to loot a Shroud of Fury and then pop into the last gateway. Once again, uh, this is linear, so we can just run straight through and hopefully not get lost like we did on the last one. So it's nice uh, not having that as an issue. So in this one, uh, all of these rooms are going to spam wall spells at you. So I like to kind of just jump over these rooms. There will also be guys that will cast that elemental debuff on you that matches the room, uh, the type of wall spell that's going to get cast. Yeah, I just narrowly avoided that one.
So I, I try to jump over it. I'm not sure it actually really does much. And then through these last couple of doors and into the portal. All right, so this is the lightning boss. Once again, there's some spirits around, which I like to pick off because they can do stuff like that. And I really don't want to die here at the very end. Summoning is too low. I must have gotten debuffed again. All right, there we go. Pick off some of these minions. So, yeah, the minions are actually pretty weak. I, I'm pretty sure I just one shot that one. So I think they are worth picking off because they do cast some pretty vicious uh, war spells. I don't think they drop anything, yeah. All right, so there's the treasure. We're going to take the Shroud of Spite. And then we're going to pop into this gateway. And then we're going to hand the shrouds to each ruby. So for instance, we have this ruby annex and we hand shroud of blood loss to that. Uh, they'll, you know, you allow it to examine and then you hand it over. Then we're gonna take shroud of spite and hand it over to the amethyst. Shroud of envy to the jade annex and shroud of apathy to the Sapphire Annex. Once you've done it correctly, you'll get a legendary key. There are legendary chests throughout this dungeon. And that's it, we can head back. So I'm going to recall to the Rinth Encampment. And we're gonna head back over to Reen Gorber. We're gonna, uh, we got this spirit crystal once we did the four uh, annexes correctly. We're gonna get a spirit envy guard, 20,000 luminance, nine MMDs, and 250 million experience. So, pretty good rewards. Uh, the spirit envy guard, I think, is actually a pretty good uh, reward. It's got essence sluice on it, so it's 25 maximum health a level eight protection, and then a random legendary cantrip between uh, Missile D, Magic D, and Melee D. And it also adds one vitality. So a pretty good automatic reward from this quest. Um, that's it for Shroud of Emotion. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's a really fun quest, a little sketchy. You got to see me get one shot by uh, Rinthid out there, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Bye.